Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to segment three of Smack Talk. I'm Sean Adams. Tony Gaglione. Uh, we're going to move on to the EPL and uh, uh, soccer, uh, worldwide soccer, over the uh, weekend. Um, in fact, today, the Monday game, uh, Man City demolished Newcastle 4-0. Manuel Pellegrini's uh, first start as coach. Speaking and of first uh, starts. If you watch the game before you go anywhere else, uh, Man City looks like a team to be reckoned with. I am terrified of what they can do because I saw them play in the Audi Cup against AC Milan and just dominate the whole game. And AC Milan is better than about 85% of the teams in the EPL. Yeah. I mean, they, they scored five goals in the first half in that game, and they scored four goals in this game. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I hey, I hate to say this, but I picked Newcastle's surprise team to go down, and yeah. I picked City to win the league. Uh, speaking of uh, first starts as head coach, David Moyes, um, you know, all this talk and everything, and I, I have to, you know, first game of the season, 4-1, to one, Manchester, you win, Manchester United wins. Um, yeah, it was a – did you watch that one? Uh, I, I was watching it from school with the live updates, and it was just like, <laughs> score. Loaded up. Swansea score. actually scored the first goal. Yeah, Swansea City. I got City's extremely, extremely nervous. I told you Swansea City's good. They're, they're, they're a good, good team. They're a good team. They're a good team. They have a solid all-around core of players. They're just not world-class players. Yeah. yeah. Um, moving on, uh, Aston Villa uh, beat my Arsenal Gunners 3-1 to one in probably one of the worst refereeing and coaching performances I've ever seen. Um, we had a lead. Yeah. And then we Great gave up start. a penalty. We had gave it. Well, Theo. I mean, yeah, well, yeah. Theo. The Theo Theo Mingers, is. and he gets it into Drew. Drew gets a little tap in. You know that that's that's what we need. But then the defense. Um, we're going into a game tomorrow. We have a Champions League game tomorrow uh, versus Fenerbahce. I didn't and, know that. Yeah, Champions League. The playoff round starts tomorrow. We got something to watch tomorrow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so if we have no. We only have two defenders though, because Sanya and Murtasacker are the only two that aren't injured. Net for next week in next Saturday's is game. Gibbs hurt? Karen Gibbs is hurt. Uh, maybe uh, Nacho Monreal might be back with his little back things. Ver- Vermley is still out with the back uh, injuries. And then Kachelny for next Saturday's game has got a red card. He picked up a really crappy red card. I have to admit, as a Man U fan, it's hard for me to say that I like Arsenal, but I do like Arsenal and I do follow them and I did watch this game. And what it seemed to me, if you, I don't know if you watch on updates or you yeah, watch Yeah, no, I was watching the Arsenal player. Yeah. Okay, so. Every time, besides the, the Walcott and Giroud, the goal that they had, um, every time that Arsenal got into the third half the final of the field, field yeah. um, they went to the wings and they decided to cross the ball. And if you have tall defenders like Ashley Williams in yeah. the box, they just headed out. Yeah. And that's what they did for 75 out of 90 minutes. They couldn't get the ball in in the middle of the field. Well, see, that's what, what the one thing about that is um, because Santi Carzola wasn't playing, um, I think that they lacked... Jack Wilshere was forced to play in a more of like a holding midfielder role um, because you had Aaron Ramsey and Arteta at the back, and then our, of course Arteta's hurt now. Um, and then you you know Chesney made the weirdest decision as a uh, goalie ever. Yeah. He like charges out, he's taking on three attackers. Somehow he prevents a goal, but he gave up a pen, uh, penalty. He gave gave up no no. I was talking after that. Oh, okay. there, there, there's a charge and and the. Aston Villa's like, okay, we'll just pass the guy there. And Chesney's like, save, save. And those are the things that make you think, like, okay, besides the original decision, which was dumb, the saves is like, oh, Chesney's great. And then he goes out and the penalty. Yeah, he gives up the penalty. Gives up the penalty. And then he charges out again. Charges out and again. he takes out uh, Ben or ben Tekken. No, no. Ben Tekken hits the penalty. It's a bong lahore. A bong lahore. A bong lahore. Yeah, he just dribbled to pass him. But Moore knew what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He passed it to the side. And he, he took him out. Yeah. He, he, he dropped out. Uh, Benteke took the penalty. Chesney ended up saving the penalty. Penalty, which is great. It came right back to Benteke who headed it back in. Yeah, and that's another thing, too. Soccer, if you're on a penalty, defenders are taught. Be the first person with the ball if the goalie makes a save. And yeah, they're, standing there. The, they're standing there. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, Giroud has come out now and said they need another striker. And he's not talking about Yaya Sanango, some un- unknown French League 2 player from <laughs> Azor. Um, and then we also put in a panic bid, which I'm not really – I like the guy, Johan Cabia at Newcastle. He's I just great. Don't, yeah, but I don't think that's so, what we need. We don't need more midfielders. No, you don't need more midfielders. We need he's defenders a, a world-class midfielder, but you have two world-class midfielders already in Jack Wilshere. And, and Santi Carzola. I yeah. think Aaron Ramsey is one too. Oh, hey, hey, he's still a young yeah. player, and he's getting better. He's going to start left back next game. Guaranteed. Left back? You remember what he was doing last year and they were moving back? We I'm don't have any defenders. I'm not fond of it. Ten million pounds uh, that's for Caballet is yeah, well, we got so money. low. Yeah, it's we so got money, low. but we're going to lowball yeah. everybody. Yeah, gonna, that's ridiculous. what they do. Is uh, Arsenal, they, they, they lowball everybody and they try to negotiate. But people don't have the patience to be going back and forth every two seconds. And they want that Man City yeah. money. They just want to get paid and they want to get paid the, the what... 
is a, a, a respectable price for their player, and then they'll, they'll let them go. But if you insult them with a ten million pound bid, they're not going to want to deal with you. Yeah. Speaking of bids being rejected, uh, Everton rejected uh, a bid for uh, late or Leighton Baines and uh, Mauro Anfellini from Man U. Moyes was their old it was, coach. It was twenty eight million pounds. I read the story on this earlier on Fox Soccer. It was twenty eight million pounds. They called it an insult because they believe that. One player is worth almost 20, 28 million. Yeah, yeah. I believe Baines might be worth 15. Yeah, yeah. Well, he said he's a left back, so he's Fulani not going to get. Fellaini might be worth 20. Yeah, but still, I think the thing is, is with the new coach uh, Roberto Martinez, he's not going to just go let his star players. He's been waiting for a chance to mm-hmm. coach a team like Everton. He's mm-hmm. not going to be like, yeah, I'm just going to let him go for dirt cheap. Yeah, then what does he have? He would have nothing. nothing. He would. Well, uh, Seamus Coleman, the right back mm-hmm. from Scotland. He he was young, but he's looking better and better. Uh, they still have Yelovic, who's okay. Uh, they still have Kevin Ross. They have some decent players, but you get rid of Flaney and Baines as your star power. Uh, speaking of stars, Gareth Bale's going to be out for two more games. Um, the Europa League game this Thursday and Saturday's game, uh, I believe they play Swansea City. Not sure. um, don't quote me on that, but I believe it's Swansea City. Um, the team that he's supposed to be going to, Real Madrid, eked out a win 2-1. to one. Uh, Isco, their new signing. Got a bullet header from like 15 yards out. The ball's like a rocket to the goal yeah. to save them. Uh, PS big, big spenders, PSG, they barely survived. Edison Cavani, their 65 million pound uh, signing, uh, saved the goal to get a draw. And then uh, Monaco, who I, we, we both, uh, they, they, they won four to four to one. They cruised. Um, yeah, so in the, oh, Barcelona team. demolished Levante seven to zero. Seven to zero. Seven to zero. Messi they sub Messi out. That's how you know you're winning. You sub line them. The best. Yeah, player Messi in the world. scored two goals. One like the 46 minute, and the other was a penalty shot. Yeah, Cesc Fabregas had five assists. I did not know in that in a game. That's pretty five, crazy. Five assists. You can see why uh, United wants him so bad. Yeah, yeah. He, <clears throat> Cesc Fabregas when he played for Arsenal, he was he's a fiery player like Jack Wilshere. He's he was a captain. He's the type of guy that can see that through ball. Mm-hmm. And he and he knows how to place it the right pace, mm-hmm. and 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 that's why Bar. He, you know, he he started at La Masia, Barcelona's uh, youth mm-hmm. development. Mm-hmm. So he wanted to go back, but you could if if Fabregas was for sale because he wasn't really for sale for Arsenal. That was kind of like a negotiation between Barcelona and Arsenal. But if he was ever for sale, I don't think there's a team in the world that wouldn't want him. No, of course not. And uh, uh <clears throat> the EPL its first weekend was this weekend. Uh, Chelsea beat Hull. Two zero. Yeah. Crystal Palace went down one nothing to Tottenham, uh, and Cardiff then went down to two West Ham two, two nothing. So the three teams that got promoted last year from the Empower Championship League all lost uh, pretty handily. Actually, didn't Sw- Southampton win though? Southampton beat West Brom with uh, Nicholas and Elka, Shane Long, uh, Odin Wingy, um, Robert or not Robert uh, Ricky Lambert. The oldest man oh, yeah, yeah. scores a goal. In the oldest, 90th minute. Yeah, the oldest man in the world. This <laughs> is like the Brett Favre of soccer. Yeah. Well, Paul Schultz has got that title, but Ricky Lambert was the first player in history to win the Golden Boot for the uh, Tier 2, Tier 1, and the championship. Brought Ooh. Southampton up from the basement. And, and and everyone said he wasn't going to make it in the APL, and he still scored 11 goals last year. And then he's, he, he's a great striker. Yeah. Fulham took down Sunderland, the uh, newly... Paul, it, Josie out the door. Yeah, one speaking, nothing. Speaking of Sunderland, Paul D. Canelo has outlawed cell phones, ketchup, mustard, ice in your Coca Cola. This dude is the fascist. Three months in three months, Canelo's gone, dude. This dude is crazy. He's outlawed ketchup and mustard. You, you, the players That's have Sunderland? dietary cards. Yeah, the, they have dietary cards. It's like Nazi Germany all over again, bro. <laughs> I didn't know anything about that. Dude, it's, I read it. He, you can't if you want to drink a Coke. You can't have ice in it because ice causes the trouble. Uh, last I check, it's carbonation. But hey, I might be whatever. This dude, hey, I read this and I was just like, I, I the the article was so weird that it was just enthralled me. It was like, dude, this guy is nuts. Two, hey, two teams, two teams that you said were going to go down um, next year, which this year actually uh, was Stoke City. They lost to Liverpool one nothing. Yep. And you said Norwich was going to go down. Who they actually drew Everton. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Norwich actually was up in that game both times. Oh, they were up one they, nothing. They were up two one nothing and two nothing or two one, right? No, no. Oh, actually, yeah, Everton went up two one. Oh, okay. Uh, Ricky Van Wolfswinkel, the new uh, striker signing for Norwich. Yeah, they got rid of Grant Holt. No, they got, yeah. they got an actual striker, <laughs> not a not a. 
linebacker playing a striker. I'm position. looking forward to next week. I'm pretty excited about next week. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Man U is going to play next Monday. Yeah, they play Chelsea. Chelsea. So Chelsea that's, that's next a Monday. Great that's, game to watch. Yeah, yeah. Next Monday. Guys play? Uh, Fulham. We Fulham. play on the road. Well, it's London. Yeah. On the road. Anything like, in the EPL is really it, not that yeah, much yeah, on the yeah. road unless you're going to Wales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so. or if you're going like north to Newcastle, <coughs> Sunderland, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but really, for those of you guys that know about the EPL, uh, Fulham, West Ham, Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, all play in London. Then you got Southampton and uh, Hull City, which are literally like 35 minute drives. So Man U, Man City. That's about a two hour drive oh. to Man- Manchester. It's better than going, you know, from, from Pittsburgh. The Steelers all the yeah, way up yeah, to like California yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. play the Chargers across like the that. country. Yeah, yeah it, England's small. Uh, like you said, it's not a road trip unless you're going to Wales. Yes. So Cardiff and Swansea are the only two road trips you make. Stay tuned for uh, segment four. We're going to do another top five as we like to end it. I'm Tony Yaglion. I'm Sean Adams.